hi guys like to welcome you guys all back to my channel and today i am here with my birthday haul which always includes tons of books and other goodies so i figured today we would sit down have a little chat show you what i got for my birthday talk about some of the books that i got from the library and yeah let's just go ahead and get on to this video but yes the other two books that i got was black or black enough stories of being young and black in america um, it says it was edited by E.B. Zoyboy, but it has um, writings from Justina Ireland, Varian Johnson, Rita Williams, Daniel Clayton, uh, Leah Henderson, Toshi Onyebuchi, Jason Reynolds, Renee Watson, um, E.B. Zoyboy herself, Brandy Coboy, Koi Boak, Jay Coles. It's so many different people in this book, and um, I'm intrigued because I obviously identify heavily with this book. I am black. And young, and I'm in an America that feels very trying at times, most of the time. And I just like hearing from other people's perspective. I didn't buy the book yet because I wasn't sure, like, was it going to be, like, essays or was it going to be just full stories? And I'm not honestly sure. So I'll be able to give you, like, a rundown of this book when I finally get to it. But I did pick it up from the library because I think I was, like, the number one on the waiting list. So... Yeah, that's a tip. If your library lets you reserve books and you know that a certain book is coming out um, that year, you can actually, in some libraries, I know you can reserve it like the month or the two months before it comes out. So you'll be like the first person on the waiting list. Keep that in mind. The next book that I picked up from the library is Circle of Shadows by Evelyn Skye. Um, I've never read an Evelyn Skye book and honestly, I'd never really intended on reading it, but in this particular book, the main character's name is Sora. So for those who don't know, my PlayStation, my PSN, my PSN name is most definitely, um, wait, hold on. For those of you who don't know, my PSN is Sora Kaiku, which is a combination of Sora, Riku, and Kairi from the Kingdom Hearts series. So I'm like heavily into kingdom hearts as we speak like right now <laughs> so the fact that this character's name is sora i figured dude totally should read this because i've always pictured sora as a girl anyway so i'm so excited like i have no idea what the book is really about but the first word literally says sora and then it says sora can move as silently as a ghost and hurl throwing stars with legal accuracy her gemini daemon can win any physical fight blindfolded and with an arm tied behind his back. They are apprentice warriors of the Society of Taigas, marked by the gods to be trained in magic and the fighting arts to protect the kingdom of Kichona. I, this is right up my alley, so very excited. I'm not going to do this in a particular order because I have them kind of thrown all over the place, but another gift that I got for my birthday, or a gift that I got for my birthday is... A Leaf the Unseen by G. Willow Wilson. Um, my friend and I have a... My friend and I both really like fantasy style books. So the books that she recommends to me, I read, even though I still haven't forgiven her for Lagoon. <laughs> and then she likes some of the books that I've recommended to her. So she got me this one. And it says, In an unnamed Middle Eastern security state, a young Arab Indian hacker shields his clients descendants islamist and other outlaws from surveillance he goes by alif the first letter of the arabic alphabet the aristocratic woman alif loves has jilted him and alif's computers has just been breached by the head of the state's electronic security force nicknamed the hand of god then it turns out his lover's new fiance and the hand of god are one and the same and his henchmen drive alif underground when Alif discovers the Thousand and One Days, the secret book of the Jinn, which both he and the Hand suspect may unleash a new level of information technology, the stakes are raised and Alif must struggle for life and death, aided by forces seen and unseen. I'm intrigued. It's like a Harry, not a Harry Potter. It's a hacker fantasy. It's like a hacker fantasy story. I don't know how to explain this. But I'm intrigued. She got it for me, so I do kind of like feel like I might like it because I've liked most of her recommendations. So I like this. Plus, she said that um, there's a second book coming out, so it gives me any more incentive to read it. So this might be in the March collection since Children of Virtue and Vengeance doesn't come out till June. Uh, yeah, so again, she also got me three pens from Villa Beautiful. I don't know which of these 
Actually, let me go get the receipt so I can figure out the names. So the three ones that I got was Hottie, Jubilee, and Turmeric. I don't remember which one's which. I do remember looking on the site, and I, everybody knows I like purple, but I was very interested in this one. Let's see. Can we get the camera to focus? So there we go. That's what they look like. Um, these pens write very, very well, and each purchase you get an extra thing of ink, so I'm very excited about that. You guys know I already have two. So I have, I have one that sits on my bullet journal at all times. And then I have one that sits at my desk in the drawer that I lock because I don't want my coworkers taking that pen. If you guys are planner girls or anybody that likes pens, you know what that feels like. So got these. Um, something that I bought for myself for my birthday was the Fenty Beauty Concealer and Pro Filter uh, Setting Powder. Um, I got the hazelnut because... I wanted to use it as an under eye. In fact, I'm using it as my under eye right now, but I'm having sh trouble with it. If you guys can't tell, it dries so well. I, f I kind of almost feel like I should get um, a concealer that is like not thicker, but maybe cr I don't know how to describe what I might need. It dries very well. I've had to not touch up this area at all. It's insane. Um, I put some on my nose. I do want to go get, I think it's nutmeg. I think that's the color after this um, because I feel like it would be a good setting powder for my whole face and I want to do a test on it. I just haven't gone back to the store to get it. Um, I did also get 420 for my, ooh, for my found, for my under eye and I want to go get a shade lighter or shade or two lighter to do like an actual highlight and then um I'll be testing but I really like the packaging on this setting powder um it's basically a mirror I can look in this right now and see myself completely with no type of trouble and I think that's really nice so I bought it for myself another amazing friend of mine got me Copic markers now you guys know that I just recently bought myself a set of markers off Amazon and I've been in my one of my sketchbooks I need to get a sketchbook that can handle marker better because I have mixed media notebooks and um, I feel like they're better towards painting mixed media like the mixed media can't be marker basically so I need to get a marker esque sketchbook if you guys have any suggestions for a sketchbook that can handle uh, thicker markers let me know please down below but she got me the bold primaries and the skin tones which are two that I really wanted to try so I'm very excited I've been drawing with these a lot um no my drawings have not come out great but I'm learning how to use markers so that counts another gift that I got from my big brother is Kingdom Hearts 3 now if you guys follow me on Instagram you know that uh that the Tuesday that this came out was my actual birthday and I had a full freaking geek out when I bought it I had a full geek out watching the opening um, I want this cover as a poster. Uh, it's just everything. I've wanted this game for so, so long. So the fact that I finally got this game and I've played it. In fact, I'm, I've beat it already. If I'll just be very transparent. I've already beat this game. So I'm going now trying to get the ultimate keyblade and trying to get all the emblems. If you've never played, you have no idea what I'm talking about. But yeah, it's just one of those games where I know a lot of people don't like it because the storyline is confusing. And it is. It's a very convoluted storyline. I still love the heck out of this game series. Mm. So there. Got that one. So the next thing is books. A lot of books. And honestly, I like getting books for my birthday. I feel like it kind of sets my year uh, for what my reading year is going to look like. So I went to on Book Outlet and I got some goodies. So we're just going to pull them out and go from there. The first thing that I pulled out is Heaven by Angela Johnson. It is one of those books that three-time credit Scott King Award. I feel like I've heard about this book a lot, but I don't think I've actually ever read this book. And um, also, for guys, for those who don't know, when I read like middle grade books and things like that, um, I read them, but I also donate them to teachers that I know in the area that um, want to build libraries for their students to read because a lot of libraries are not properly funded anymore in schools and kids want to read something other than Oliver Twist and you know Charles Dickens like they want to read other things so 
Um, I do, sometimes I get them to read for myself. Sometimes I get them to give to other teachers. But this one I'm going to read myself first and then I'm going to give it away. But I've never read it, so I figured why not. The next book that I got is Buffalo Soldier by Maurice Brodus. I've never heard of Maurice. I saw the cover. I was very intrigued. And it turns out that Maurice is a black author, so he fits in the... He. This is the book that I chose for the reading poll for The Seat at the Table. So I'm actually very intrigued about this book. It says, having stumbled onto a plot within his homeland of Jamaica, former espionage agent Desmond Koch finds himself caught between warring religious and political factions, all vying for control of a mysterious boy named Lee Tafari. Wanting the boy to have a chance to live a free life, Desmond assumes responsibility for him and they flee. But a dogged enemy agent remains ever on their heels, desperate to obtain the secrets held within Lee for his employer alone. Assassins, intrigue, and steaming stand between Desmond and Lee as they search for a place to call a new home in North America that they could never. Buffalo Soldier is a steampunk adventure. I've never actually officially read a steampunk, and I'm going to read this one whether it wins the March uh, sign-up or not, but I would love for y'all to vote for this one. So, go vote. I'm just saying. The next book that I got, oh, that reminds me. I'm going to tell y'all, just like, it's going to be insane. So, Buffalo, no, not Buffalo. This book is The Loneliest Girl in the Universe, and it is by Lauren James. So, this book's original price is $17.99, and I got it. Where's The Loneliest Girl in the Universe? I got it for $5.99. Like most, I think my most expensive book on here is $8. So yeah, $8. Now you know why I went to Book Outlet. But yeah, this book is about <clears throat> the daughters of two astronauts. Rami Silver is no stranger to life in space, but she never knew how isolating the universe could be until her parents' tragic death left her alone on the infinity, a spaceship speeding away from Earth. Rami tries to make the best of her lonely situation, but only with brief messages from her therapist on Earth to keep her company. She can't help but feel like something is missing. It seems like a dream come true when NASA alerts her that another ship, the Eternity, will be joining the Infinity. Rami begins exchanging messages with Jay, the commander of the Eternity, and their friendship with Jay breathes new life into her world. But as the Eternity gets closer, Rami learns there's no more to Jay's mission than she could have ever imagined. And suddenly there's a worse thing than being alone. I'm intrigued. Uh, I also really love the simplicity of this cover. So that's why I got it. <laughs> the next book that I got is the first book of the Three Dark Crown series by Kendar Blake. Or Kendara Blake. I am definitely collecting this series. You guys have heard me talk about this series so, so much in wrap ups. If you haven't read this book yet I don't know why I even buy this book for people for their birthdays so they can get hooked on the series like me but this book was originally $17.99 and I got it for $7.59 the next book that I got is The Shadow Queen by CJ Redwine um this book again was $17.99 and I got it for $7.59 so um I actually have the paperback version of this but the second book of this series I have in hardback and I like the hardback. As you guys know, I like hardback books better. Um, they just handle the wear and tear of the way that I read books better. So I got it in hardback. So I'm just going to give the paperback version to one of the student teacher, one of the teachers that I give books to. But I think I've already talked about this book a lot and I am eventually going to read it so we can really talk about the series. I really am, I promise. The next book that I got is The Poppy War by R.F. Kwan. Kwan? Excuse me. It was for $26.99 and I got it for $8.06. So this is a book that I've wanted to read since last year. Um, I was immediately drawn to the cover of this book. And Poppy War just sounds interesting for a lot of reasons. And then the cover of this says she is a peasant, she is a student, she is a soldier, she is a goddess. And the goddess is in red. I don't know what this book is about other than that. And I'm not going to read any more of the, um, Ooh, wait, hold on. I am going to read this because this is the line. This, this caught my attention. It says when Ren aced the Keju, 
The empire-wide test to find the most talented youth to study at the academies. It was a shock to everyone, to the test officials who couldn't believe a war orphan from a rooster province could pass without cheating, to Ren's guardians who always thought they'd be able to marry Ren off to further their criminal enterprise, and to Ren herself who realized she was now finally free of the servitude and despair that had made up her daily existence. That she got into Sinigard, the most elite military school in in the Nikara Empire, was even more surprising. But surprises aren't always good. Being a dark-skinned peasant girl from the south is not an easy thing at Sinigard. Rin is targeted from the outset... Who cannot read today? Ooh. Targeted from the outset by rival classmates because of her color, poverty, and gender. Driven to desperation, she discovers she possesses a lethal, unearthly power, an aptitude for the nearly mythical arts of shamanism. Exploring the depths of her gift with the help of a seemingly insane teacher and a psychoactive substances, Rin learns that gods long thought dead are very much alive and the master and control of her powers are more mean, could mean more than just surviving school. I'm intrigued. And if I'm not mistaken, I think this is an adult fiction. Yeah, I think this is an adult fiction, which I haven't read a lot of adult. I didn't read a lot of adult fictions last year, so I do want to read more adult fictions. The next book that I got is False Hearts by Laura Lamb. This book was for $24.99. I got it for $4. But this book is about twins, Tama and Tila. They were conjoined until the age of 16. And in their mid-twenties, when they're drawn into a deadly battle for control of drugs that facilitates a disturbing form of lucid dreaming. Uh, The sister Tila comes home drenched in blood and she is arrested and accused of murder. And her sister is given the option to pretend to be her sister and figure out what the heck happened and what's going on. I do know that's the premise of this story. Again, I think this is another um, adult fiction that I'm just intrigued to read. I've never read a story about... The story itself is kind of cliche but at the same time it's not so I'll see if I like it the next book that I got is Beast of the Night by Tochi Onyabuchi um another black author is he black yeah I think he's a black author uh this book was for $17.99 and I got it for $5.99 so that's great um I'm not gonna lie I saw Naya Reads and Smiles obsess over this book and yes Naya is always really, really happy. So sometimes you feel like she loves every book, but I don't know. It it was the storyline really draw is I'm drawn to the storyline and I'm drawn to the cover because it's really pretty purple. But basically, um, basically what happens is like when a person does something wrong in this world, they have to be purged of their sin. But to be purged of their sin, someone else has to take the burden of their sin on. If that makes sense. So, um, yeah, I just, yeah, they're called sin eaters. So I don't know. I'm intrigued. That idea is interesting to me. It gets a lot of praise. Like it's got people like Stephanie Garber, Sabah Tahir, Saba Tahir, E.K. Johnston, Kendara Blake, you know, they like it. I'm going to give it a chance because I want to read it and it was cheap. The next book, I'm so sorry, guys. We are still going here. The next book is Before She Ignites the by Jody Meadows. It is the Fallen Isles Trilogy. I've never read one of these books, but I literally bought it because it's a black girl on the cover. And I've seen this book in so many different places that at one point, I think I told myself I wanted to read it. I have no idea why. I have no idea what the story is about. So we're actually going to learn. So Mira Minkoba is the hope bearer. Since the day she was born, she's been told she's special and important and perfect. She's known across the Fallen Isles, not just for her beauty, but for the peace treaty named after her. An agreement that united that united the seven islands against their enemies on the mainland, but Mira never felt perfect. Oh, she discovers a secret. Mm, interesting. Yeah, I don't know. I'll tell you what I think about it when I read it, but it was a great deal, so I got it. The next book that I got is The Last Namsara by Christian C. Sicarelli? Sicarelli? Ooh, sorry, didn't know it was flashing, you guys. But yeah, A, the cover on this is really dope. Um, I know that Tomi Adiemi uh likes this book series. I kind of trust her book choices, if you know what I mean. Um, so I got it. Let's see. The original price for this one was $17.99, and I got it for $5.49. And uh let's see. 
I don't know what it's about, honestly, and I don't want to read it right now because I am pushing on 24 minutes and I need to pick up this video. The next book that I got is Strange Dreamer by Lonnie Taylor. Um, if you guys remember my uh, wrap up video, I talked about how like I wasn't the hugest fan of the, I didn't think the book was absolutely amazing the way other people did, but I still really like the covers. So this book originally is $18.99. I got the book for, oops, let's see. I got the book for $6.49, so I figured I'm not going to buy it full price like I was originally going to, but if I find it on Book Outlet, then I'll buy it. So now I got to look for Muse of Nightmares because this is actually a really good quality uh, book, man. I don't think anybody's ever touched this one, which is great, so got it. <laughs> The next book that I got is Traitor to the Throne. It is the second book in the Rebel of the Sands series by Alan Hamilton. Uh, this book originally was $18.99 and I got it for $4.89. Um, I am mad because I really like these covers, but to get this cover for the first book, it has to be paperback. I don't know why, honestly. Like, I'm totally down for this. So I'm on the search for Rebel in the Sands um with this cover in hardback so I think I might have to try book depository and see if I have to get it like from another uh publisher or a UK edition but yeah I already I really like the first one so I do plan on at least starting the second book sometime this year and I have it so I don't have to feel rushed with the library the next book that I got is Onyx and Ivory <laughs> Onyx and Ivory by Mindy Arnett this book was for $17.99, but I got it for $4.89. This book was a book that was recommended to me. Uh, I forgot who recommended it to me, but uh, basically it's about a girl who wants to be a dragon rider. I'm not sure. Yeah, is this the one? Yeah, she wants to be like... Um, she wants to be, it's basically she, she's an outcast because her father is labeled as a traitor. And the reason her father's labeled as a traitor is because he tried to kill the king. And the person that she loved was the prince. And she ends up saving his, saving the prince's life after everything that happened with her father. And it's supposed to play out from there. I don't know. I'm intrigued. It was only $4. So if I don't like it, I could donate it. The next book that I got is Flame in the Mist by Renee Adia. Adia? I really like the cover of this book. I'm not going to lie. Every time I see this book, I want it solely because of the cover. And I got it for $3.89. And obviously, this was a wholesale from Target. The book... Um, what is this? The book protector? It's kind of beat up on the edges, but the book itself is fine. I don't know what it's about. I know plenty of you know what it's about. But again, we'll find out on... We'll find out at some point. The final book, thank God, right? The final book that I got is The Traitor Prince by CJ Redwine. Um, this is, which one is this one? I, I think this is The Prince and the Pauper. If I'm not mistaken, this is like a Prince and the Pauper kind of thing. I'm intrigued by the Raven Spire novels. Like, I've seen them. I know that the Cinderella version of it, The Blood Spell, came out in January. So I'll be looking for that on Book Outlet. This one came out last year. So I'm basically just collecting them. I haven't read any of them yet. But again, I got it because this one was... This one was $5.99. So yeah, like I said, I got... A lot of books. I got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. I got 17 books and I only paid $80. So thank you guys so much for sticking through this gigantic book haul. Kind of forgot how many books I bought. I'm not even going to lie. Uh, but again, thank you guys so much for checking out my channel. And until the next time, guys, bye.